Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of Monday on the Susquehanna with Zachary Martin. Today is Tuesday, of course, as you know the deal. Um, back at the Susquehanna in 44, Pennsylvania. Walking up river, gonna work my way down this stretch. I usually start up there at the tree line, come all the way down, go all the way down to that white fence down in the uh, distance there. It's about a mile, maybe, give or take, three quarters of a mile. Um, so today, I just picked these up, nice little swim bait. So I have a swim bait tied on today with a uh, nice trocar hook and it's belly weighted, so the weight is on the bottom with a a blade and the blade is going to be underneath so i'm going to see how this works today it's got the thump that i talked about last week and the flash from the blade so uh we'll see how it goes the only thing it won't do is it won't bounce off rocks and stuff like a crankbait which i talked a lot about in the last episode but if those minnows are there that they're feeding on this should be the way to go. So, we'll see. all right, guys, we're back. Gonna make my way down these uh, rocks. Um, there is a fly fisherman down there, right at the break. I was, uh, I don't wanna get in front of him. So I'm gonna start way down in front of him. So I don't uh, cut him off. And then, uh, I think, I think, Kind of inspired me next week i think i may do a fly fishing episode uh, i haven't thrown my fly rod in a while it's always in my truck uh i carry it around it's with me at all times i just uh i don't use it that much but i love fly fishing so uh we're gonna start there this river is down considerably from last week so uh I'm gonna try this little stretch of water right here, see if I can get a bass to come out from under one of these rocks um, with this swim bait. And uh, we'll be back if I catch a fish. Hey folks, I got a special treat for you here today. This attached itself to my bait. It hooked on. This is a Helgramite. They live in rivers, rocks, and lakes. And I have a whole package of plastic version of these in my tackle box on my boat. And these are awesome fish baits as well. Fish love these things. All right, folks. It's been a tough hour of fishing. This is my first fish I caught. I had two on and two more bites. Stop, please. But uh, this is my first actual catch and Oh man, does he have this in him. So again, he swiped at it. Uh, try to do as little damage as I can. It's in his gills, which is never a good thing. All right, I got it. Good, good, good. Get up. Okay, so it's a really little guy. But, I mean, I just posted a video yesterday from Lake, or the other day from Lake Wallenpaw back that your bait is never too small, or too big, sorry. So, here's the crankbait, and here he is. Crankbait's pretty close to half his size. But he hit it. River is way down since last time. Um, last Tuesday, I was fishing where I'm standing, right here. You can see the water... Some of these rocks still aren't quite dried out from the water. So this water is easily two, maybe three feet lower. I see zero bait fish. And last week there were thousands of them, which tells me that the bait fish have moved somewhere, probably to deeper water, which means the bass and the other fish that eat them have also moved to deeper water. Um, I've had a swim bait on and a top water and I went back to the crankbait and that's the second bite I had on a crankbait and first fish that actually kept it. So uh, hopefully I'll be back, but uh, 
just throwing out a little further and uh, trying to target these rocks that I can see in the water. That's what I'm doing. All right, much better fish. I'm gonna walk towards him. I gotta keep this tight or I will lose this guy. He's already pulled some drag on me and I haven't seen him yet. Oh yeah, it's a good fish for the Susquehanna. I'm gonna pull him right out of the water. Oh, that's a pretty fish. That is a pretty fish. Nice and heavy. He's got both hooks in his mouth. So he inhaled this one. I'm gonna have to go to the pliers for this. Oh, no, don't want it in your eye. Let's get that away. There we go. There's one out. That's the only trouble with treble hooks is once they're in, they are in. Let's try to get out there. Get out. Come on. Oh, boy. Ah. Come on. Okay, look at this guy. Whew. That's a really nice Susquehanna smallmouth. Really nice. Good fish, good fight. Put the crankbait bat on and in you go. Thank you. Soon as she hit that, she jumped clear out of the water and I'm trying to save my battery on my GoPro so I don't have to change it in the middle of filming. So I've been uh, leaving it off this week until I catch a fish, which means the initial strike isn't filmed. But uh going to keep working my way down the river uh, here. Oh, yeah, he threw it. Oh, no. He's still on. He's swimming at me. Oh, stay on. Stay on. Not big, but I'll take him. Oh, he swiped at it. That time I got him in his belly. So I'm gonna try to get him off as quick as I can. I can't imagine. That feels... Stop. Stop. Oh, stop. No. His dorsal fin got me on that one. Okay. I just wanted to get a really good hold of him before I tried to help him because I don't want him to shake. Okay, that was easy. All right, so, fish, whoops. Yeah, that's not good for him. Apologize profusely to the fish and get him back in the water as soon as I can without hurting me or hurting myself. Okay, good fish, bye. All right. So he hit that crankbait again, so. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, I came here seeing that the water was down from last week. Didn't see any minnows in the shallows. And I was worried about using that swim, swim bait I had tied on because I didn't see any minnows. I'm thinking maybe they're further out, they're deeper. I threw it deeper, let it fall. Nothing, 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 nothing. And uh, a lot of anglers will go back to the exact same spot a week later, two years later, and use the exact same thing that they caught a lot of fish on. And a lot of times fail because conditions are different. Uh, it's colder, warmer, too much rain, not enough rain, whatever. But uh, it seems as if this crankbait, for now, has been treating me pretty well. well I'm gonna stick with it. Hey folks, so uh, I'm down towards the other end. And uh, that little rock island out there I've been fishing this river for three, four years. And uh, and I've uh, never seen that rock island exposed. And I know, I'm sure there are people out there who are watching this that's lived here all their lives and have seen that rock island exposed many times, but it's definitely the first time I've ever seen it exposed. 